I'm going to relax for a second. I just ate that Miller's Barbecue. <laughs> when I saw that, when I turned around the corner and I saw that big truck Miller's Barbecue, I said, hurry, we got to get in there and eat. Um, but I'm happy to be here. I'm honored and I'm excited that you guys allowed me to come and be a part of this celebration. Um, it's great being here as a state representative. I'd like to thank my wife for coming with me tonight. I'd like to thank my legislative assistants, Danielle and Jarrell, uh, being here. And um, we look forward to continue to work real hard like we're doing at the state level. Um, I'm really excited that I was able to become the first African American uh, to be in that position in this whole area. Um, that really means yes, we can, and we're moving forward. I mean, some people may you know not take it as big, but it's making a difference. And uh, I'd like to first honor the elected officials that are here uh, tonight. I know we're going to hear from some of them tonight. And it was great working with the ones that are here, especially Mr. Sonny and Ms. Joyce in the back. I worked with them, and it was exciting. It was a learning experience. And I think by working with them and the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that they have about people and about politics, it really helped me get in a position that I can do what I'm doing at the state level. And just to add to it, uh, they usually pick about half or 30 of the top freshmen out of the Senate and out of the House. So uh, I was elected or chosen uh, by the House uh, Speaker to be a part of the leadership. And uh, that's one good thing, another good thing that happened. And I'm very proud of that. And I think my experience really helped that. And they observe you, you know, through the session and see how you interact with others and things that you bring to the table. And that's who they decide is going to go and get more leadership training, you know, for the future. But we're happy with a lot of things that went on in the session, even though we were a minority, but our voices were heard. And we, we got a lot of things done that we wanted to get done. And I'm just excited that you guys really got involved. A lot of you, some of you called and say, look, I'm concerned about this issue. Let's get something going on it. When you came up with a bird supper, you know, that was really helpful. And I want you guys to try to get even more involved because that's what it takes for a state legislator to do what we need to do. We got to have information. The laws that we are revising or new laws we're coming up with, and, and, and the laws that we're trying to change to help our community is going to come from the influence of you guys. We need that. I mean, make the visits, make the calls, and that's going to help encourage us to do what we need to do. And we need as much information as we can on certain issues. All right, and another thing we need to try to do is work hard on the off session. From now until January, we got to work hard on different issues so we can get them beforehand instead of waiting at session time. And by then, the other party, for one, has already got their mind made up and they're pushing forward. So we got to learn to do more things in a timely manner and let's work harder on the off session. Uh, another thing we're looking at is anything that we can do here in this community that you know that's funded by the state. Let's get those requests in. Let's see where we can get more money in. So it's just me as one person, honestly, as a Democrat, working for the needs, for sure, of all the people, but especially also for the Democratic Party. And the caucus works real hard, but we need information. Um, another thing, the money that we're getting for different things that pertain to the youth, we need to look for more organizations that are already in the works that are doing a great job that needs more funding. Because that, that is the lifeline to our future. We take care of our youth right now and get them prepared for the leadership, then we're going to be a better off community. And another thing we need to do, let's work hard throughout the state. If you know anybody in the state that you think will be a good candidate for anything, let's get that together. I know Ms. Laverne, she works hard on trying to identify different people and people that are willing to, to give it their all. We need to work and get some of these people in Washington, D.C. We need to get more people in the state area to work hard so we can get them in position to work for us as a community. But I'll be here, you know, for the rest of the evening, and if you have any issues or anything that we need to look at, let's get on top of it. I got plenty of time to work hard and get things done before we get back in session. And uh, other than that, 
we're, we're very excited that we have been able to work with the other party. And you have to do that in order to get some things done. And, uh, and, the, commu and the communication, and I'll just give you all a sneak peek. Uh, what happens whenever you go to the legislation and you get chosen for the leadership with other freshmen that were picked, maybe we Republican, Democrat, it gives us an opportunity to bond and build relationships with each other. And, I, and I, I, I like that so much because now you get to know them, they get to know you on a personal level. So honestly, whenever you get back in session, you can look that person in the eye and say, look, we need to work on this issue for the people. Let's put the party stuff aside right here for a second, and let's do the right thing no matter what.